And one of the things that I have loved in my own life is traveling around the world some, but mainly here in the United States with one of the most incredible guys that I know who loves the United States and loves this nation and longs to see this nation come into its next major move of the Spirit of God. I consider it very honor. Uh, I consider it a great honor that the Lord allowed me to go to all 50 states with Him, most of our largest cities, most of our seacoast and uh, seaports, and to have Him here to give us a charge for this nation. Let's welcome Apostle Dutch Sheets. Thank you, Chuck, for your kind words. He just, he just looks more debonair every time I see him with that. I mean, I used to tease him about looking like Kenny Rogers, but he has so gone beyond and looks a thousand times better than Kenny Rogers. I mean, that's just... Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to go there. <laughs> and now that I'm up here, I see a lot of familiar faces. It's just good to see all of you. You can't hear me? Did you, have you heard anything yet? No? Do I need to start over? <laughs> Somebody heard Kenny Rogers, okay? So I'll get this up even higher. Is that better? All right. I was just, I gave a very, very meaningful prophecy for the first couple of minutes, but I can't remember it. So only those in the front half are going to hear it. The rest of you, you should have gotten here sooner and sat up front. You know, I was just thinking, Chuck and I have traveled a lot of miles together. The Lord has... I feel I feel the same way. I feel much graced to have been able to run with uh, with this guy. He's um, one of a kind. Chuck Pierce is one of a kind. But you know, as I look around me and I see other faces here, and some of you I can't even call you by name, but I know your face because you've been a part of this prayer movement, this process that God has had us in for 20 years or more, 25, to turn this nation. And it's been quite a journey, hasn't it? And I want to thank all of you for the role that you have played and for your commitment to it. And um, the fact that you're here today means you're still in faith. We're going to see this third great awakening in America. And I realize it's always important that we keep in mind that it's not just about America. You know, we play a part in what he is doing in the earth. And our greatest role is to serve the nations of the earth with the gospel of Jesus. And so when we talk about what he's doing here, we're not just talking about us. We're talking about a bigger plan. And we know that. So even though we're here today for America, we're not just here for America. We're here for the nations and the harvest that he will be bringing in uh, throughout the earth. It's going to happen because he promised Jesus that it would happen. I was in a dream. I didn't have the dream. I was in a dream about a year and a half ago where I and another brother were driving across the country 
in a a large truck outfitted prophetically it could it had equipment under it and it could look down into the earth and spot religious strongholds in the earth and when it would the x-ray when it would see one of these gates they call in the dream they were called religious gates I wasn't going to go here today though he started talking about religious gates but when we saw one of those we stopped the truck ran a drill down into the earth begin to speak Revelation 12 we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony love not our lives to death and that drill pit would shatter the lock on the gate destroy the gate and we would end up in control of that place not the religious stronghold so as we journeyed from the west to the east it's almost like we were backtracking to this part of the nation where it, where we started we went to what was i think Maybe Jackie would remember this. Five different cities, I believe. Where are you, Jackie? Because one of them was... And our last stop was D.C. Where the root of that religious um, stronghold existed. And the dream was so detailed, I don't want to go into all of the details of the dream... But we did those things. We went to those cities and we prayed in each place. We weren't guessing. The cities were listed in the dream. We went to all of them making our way to D.C. And then we gathered a small team there to go for the route. But in the dream, we had to change the drill bit when we got to D.C., We had to change it to drill bit number 601. Well, the guy having the dream, he didn't know what that was, but I know what it is. Because of my love for word studies, God knew that I would know immediately what 601 was. It's revelation. It was the drill bit of revelation revelation was coming that in the dream what eventually happened would shatter the root of that religious stronghold and when that happened in the dream and i'm just giving you this is a long detailed dream thousands of people came out of the earth that had been controlled by a religion and were completely set free and transformed. It was an incredible dream. 